They told me that Godsmack had the lead track off the soundtrack, which I thought was awesome. Today is day one of our new video called I Stand Alone for the Scorpion King movie coming out on Universal Pictures. In our concept, we had to tie in Godsmack's performance with a storyline that Colin and I came up with, a journey of Sully. At the end of it, he discovers that he's actually sort of a descendant of the character The Rock plays in The Scorpion King. It's the leader Godsmack meeting The Scorpion King, 3000 BC. You've got a wake-up call at four. We had to drive here about an hour and a half. Usually we go to bed at four. This is probably the most challenging and, uh, and biggest video we've ever done yet. Actually a lot of fun. Riding the bikes up and down the road. Scorpion's gonna climb up my handlebars and sting me, and then this symbol will start appearing on my hand. It's not really gonna sting me. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> What's up with this guy over here? He's been sitting there a long time, hasn't he? We basically got to pull in this little gas station area here, but only the difference is we're doing aerial shots. Right now we're doing a little bit of this. Yeah, we're freaked out because no one told us we had to do our stunts. We had the band cruising around the desert on motorcycles, Collins riding around in a helicopter, and Sully traveling on his journey through the desert. I haven't met the rock yet, but I'm looking forward to it. It's like 240, 6'2. I'm 5'4", 65 pounds, soaking wet. Hollywood magic will make me look good against them. Whoever's got the bigger knife. <laughs> so we're creating the location and a location and a look that you couldn't find because it doesn't exist. We're going to actually make that up. Some of it's built here, and the rest of it's going to be done uh, with you know, computer-generated imagery and posts. Just a kick-ass set for, you know, badass band. All about the group today. Let's bring in the artist, please. Right this way, gentlemen. Showtime, let's go, guys. Roll, please. Oh, brother. Action! Basically, I uh, wrote this track for the movie, so so lyrically it ties right into the character oh, yeah. of this film. Will you stand alone before the fury of his armies? <laughs> yes. I'd like to hear a little bit less high end, a little bit more bass. All right, here we go. Let's go to number one. Stand by. This is the third leg. I'm pretty much just getting inside now. We'll lay the SmackDown. 3000 BC style. These skeletons will be rising before me to stop me from going into the sacred tomb. This is the main shot of the sequence. I resurrect, take the sword, I throw him the sword. We're gonna be able to make my arms swing as his when it's done. Come for the woman and your head. It's always great to see Kelly. She's fantastic. She looks great, too. There were more guys on the set to be around Kelly for some odd reason. I know the prophecy. I have seen it. I get to be in character playing the sorceress, which is pretty cool. I think the song is awesome. I think it really fits in with the vibe of the movie. You are the scorpion. Little old me. Track him down, kill him. I don't know if I want that job. I love the fact that I could come out here and hang out with the band. And it's, it was definitely well worth it for me. He was very aware of the music, the lyrics. I'll never stop until I can make my own way. I can relate to him all the way. Be free. Die well. The video is going to have an edge. It's going to have a lot of crazy effects. Huge shots. Well, he's going to be out at one time. It's my favorite song I've ever written so far. 